Tarantula, given that it was helmed by Mr. Jack Arnold, is a better film than one might expect. It isn't even necessarily a film about a giant tarantula, it simply becomes one by virtue of its initial speculative scientific plot device. Professor Gerald Deemer, portrayed by Leo G. Carroll, have devi has devised a special nutrient which can instigate accelerated growth in organisms, or certain smaller organisms. It appears to gradually deform and poison human beings to death. So essentially, you three scientists are working on this experimental nutrient along with Professor Sedema, and uh, the other two of them tested it out on themselves, suffered the consequences, one in a mad frenzy just trashes the lab, letting loose up onto the world a rapidly growing tarantula. Fantasy is just objectively better than drama at this point. No, seriously, it's so much fun to me that an entire plot device having nothing to do with a giant tarantula in its initial intent results in the film being about a giant tarantula. If this film did not have the title card Tarantula, you would have no idea where it was going. You'd think it were a film about an evil or unethical scientist and his dying colleagues who had injected themselves with their artificial nutrient. I really like this. They decide their giant tarantula monster flick will be a subplot born of a speculative science experiment gone wrong. This just so happens to become a giant tarantula monster flick. I love how they would have had to have worked backwards to come up with that and tried to disguise the finished film, sans the obvious title card, as one that is set in the real world and how the events of a giant tarantula rampage may emerge in a rather quiet Arizona town. Needlessly well directed in general as an average dialogue driven film production, but also a slick and wholly filmic, professional and passionate monster mash. A modern audience might be surprised at how well made and seriously considered the craftsmanship of a giant tarantula movie really is, but that is Jack Arnold. MST3K never even took this film to task, and you'd think they would, but I imagine even they considered it a film where too much effort was actually put into the production, for better or worse. I would actually recommend, unless you really are not inclined, viewing Tarantula, as one might be surprised at how genuinely quality a film it is, surprisingly. Hardly Jack Arnold's finest, although not far from it given his limited output and his frankly overall more limited output of interest. It isn't touching Creature from the Black Lagoon, Incredible Shrinking Man, or even his uncredited Metalunacy Eggment within This Island Earth, although it is a commendable endeavour. And no, this is not the black and white giant spider movie on television during Lilo and Stitch. That would be Bert I. Gordon's 1958 fiction Earth vs. the Spider. I remember seeing Lilo and Stitch in a cinema when I was six. It may have been the second ever film I saw in a cinema. The first was 2002 Scooby Doo. You heard it here first, folks. Even then, I thought, wow, that black and white giant spider, just a projected blown up real spider imposed onto a fake or projected image of a city. That's so cool and novelty and cozy and imaginative and DIY and invigorating. It may have all began there, my obsession with 20th century B genre titles or 20th century genre films in general. Anyway, that's Tarantula for today. I hope you are all well.